Welcome everyone to our full moon flow. I'm excited to be here today, especially on Halloween. So the moon was actually full this morning. It was a blue moon and it's gonna continue to be full tonight. Um, I thought what we would do at the end of class for today is I'll guide you through just a little meditation of how to release and shed for the moon. And then um, I'm gonna give you all just a piece of paper for you to take home and, and do whatever clearing you wanna do. If you wanna do it here today, write it down and chuck it in the trash. You're more than happy to um, as well. But I'm going to guide us through that at the end while you're laying down in Shavasana. Um, and before we begin, I just thought I'd pull from my deck here a little card to see what our affirmation is for today. I affirm that I am totally willing to freely forgive everyone. Whoa. <laughs> I release from within myself all bitterness and resentment. I let go of all old hurts and forgive everyone, including myself. Mm. Which is interesting because this moon is about letting go of resentment. I can't make this shit up. <laughs> Um, I'm going to have these cards available for all of you if you want to do a card pull at the end of class and take a picture of it. You're more than happy to as well. But we're going to start in an easy seated pose, whatever that is for you that you feel comfortable in. And then we're going to close the eyes. Now as the eyes close, I want you to feel your shoulders relax. I'm going to come around and just offer you an essential oil to add aromatherapy to your practice. If you'd like to receive the oil, just place a palm facing up. The oil is going to be peppermint, which helps open up your mind, open up your sinuses, and your clarity. Once you receive the oil, just rub your hands together and cup over your nose and take a couple breaths. your body and your mind a little more into stillness. Once you feel complete, placing your palms back down onto your thighs, just begin to tap into your breath as you breathe in through the nose and you breathe out through the nose. Just letting the belly with each inhale expand. And with each exhale, the belly relaxes. You just start to find your flow of your breath. As you breathe in, face stays soft as belly opens up. And as you breathe out, just feel the jaw relax as the belly relaxes. And just connecting to your flow and rhythm of your breath. Tapping into what your cycle of breath is today. Now, as we begin to move, your breath might start to open up more. Allow yourself to create a relationship with breath and body today. So inhaling and exhaling with the flow of the movements. Now, whether that's at my pace or you find your own personalized pace, Today for our flow, as we connect to the energy of the moon, let yourself connect to the energy of your own being. And slowly now, hands come together at heart. You're gonna to begin to rub these hands 
And imagine, just like at your heart is all about love, imagine you're generating light and love in your hands as the friction creates heat. And then once you find these hands are nice and warm, I want you to place these hands on any area of your body that feels like it needs a little love today. This could be a physical area of the body. This could also be an emotional area of the body. Letting your hands rest on these areas and imagine they are vibrating that light love right into these areas. And transitioning if you want to different areas or staying on one particular space. And slowly finding your hands back to heart center, thumbs resting in sternum, Anjali Mudra, and just setting an intention for our class today. It could be a single word that helps you stay present. It could be aligned with my affirmation card, or it could be completely customized for you based on how you would like to feel after class so that you can generate that feeling while you're on your mat and then take it off of your mat into the rest of your day. We're gonna seal all of our intentions together with a full deep breath. Breath in and exhale, hands and the head meet, allowing the head to bow to the hands. Mind and heart honor this intention. And then allow the hands to rest down, chin to chest. And just begin some gentle neck rolls. Eyes can be closed or open, your preference. Start to open up that space in the neck and shoulders. Let the face stay soft. Next time, either ears to either shoulder. Just allow yourself to pause in the stretch. Now to deepen this stretch, whatever ears to shoulder, take that opposite hand and bring it onto the floor. And just take some deep breaths. And slowly relax the hand back to thigh, chin rolls to chest, and then move to the other side. Deep belly breaths, letting all the area of your neck and shoulders relax on this side. hand chin to chest inhale squeeze shoulders up to ears exhale shoulders back and down stack head and shoulders open eyes and if your legs are crossed you'll change the cross of your legs all right three sun breaths inhale reach up exhale hearts and hands meet inhale reach up and exhale again one final breath inhale and exhale Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Take some nice deep breaths. Relax that bottom shoulder. Yep, there you go. And inhale, reach up and exhale to the other side. Nice deep breaths on this side. Bottom shoulders relax, six bones rooted. And reach up, relax that hand down. One more gentle pose before I move up. So inhale, rise, and exhale. Little twist, either side is fine. Nice deep breaths here. Feel your spine nice and long. And 
unravel, and then inhale, reach up, and exhale, twist. And again, some nice deep breaths on this side. And then unravel. And find your way now to table position. We'll do a few cat cows and then we'll get flowing. So once you find your way into table pose, make sure that shoulders are over wrists and hips are over knees. Spread your fingers nice and wide, get your yogi hands here. And on an inhale, tailbone shines up, belly down, gaze up. And then exhale, tuck the tail, squeeze the navel and gaze in, cat arch. Inhale, flow back through into your cow. And exhale, into cat arch. And now find your own flow through cat cow. And in cat cow, you're really trying to articulate each vertebra as you flow and move. And right here is probably where you're gonna to start to find the rhythm and flow of the pace your body and breath wanna move on for right now. And just start to intuitively listen to that. And as we begin to flow through my instruction, again, find the pace that serves you and your body today. And then the next time you're in cat arch, you'll find your way to neutral spine. All right, inhale, the right arm rises, and exhale, you're gonna thread the needle. So bring it underneath your body, rest down, and then rest that head down. Now this might be where you stay, or you can wrap that left arm around the body, even get into that little crease of your right hip and leg. To advance even more, you can take the left leg out, tuck the toes, and straighten the leg. If that's too much, you can bring that knee back down to the mat. Take some nice deep breaths into your right shoulder. So this moon is about releasing resentment. It's also about releasing guilt and shame. We tend to get tight in our jaw, our shoulders, our heart. So today we're gonna to be doing postures to release the areas that we might be holding shame, judgment, and resentment, physically or emotionally. And slowly unravel. And then lift that arm up to the ceiling and come down. We're going to move to the other side now. Inhale, left rises. Exhale. And find the modification that serves you. You can wrap that arm around. You can straighten the right leg. Whatever feels good for you. And nice deep breaths here. for a moment and then lower it down and then find your way back to table pose and then you're going to tuck the toes you might want to take your hands about one step forward hips are going to move up and back to your first down dog of the day make sure your hands are spread wide feet are at least hip socket width apart and then take your dog for a little walk you're going to bend one leg and then the other from side to side, just get any little, I call them cobwebs, out of the body. And then you'll slowly, taking a couple breaths, find your way to stillness and down dog. And then all together, we're gonna take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> Sigh it all out. Walk the feet to meet the hands, forward fold. And then keep a nice bend in the knees to protect your hamstrings as you round up one vertebra at a time. Head and neck are last to rise. Shoulders roll up and back, mountain pose. Inhale, arms rise, palms touch. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise, clasp your right wrist, exhale up and over. 
Inhale, rise, reverse, up and over. Inhale, rise, and exhale, fold forward. Hands can come to shins or to mat. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, back to your down dog. Just gonna do a couple sun salutes to warm up the body. Deep breath in. <sighs> Deep breath out. All right, we're gonna come on to our knees now and tuck the toes. We're gonna be in knee planks, so shoulders are over wrists. Take a nice deep breath in. Use the strength of your core, feel long and strong, and then lower all the body onto the mat. Rise out and up. Rise those shoulders, baby cobra. Pelvis is still rooted down. And then on next exhale, lower. Keep those elbows hugging in. Find your way back, down dog. You take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> Let it go. Feet meet the hands at the front of your mat. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. And now bring hands to hips. Root your feet and inhale, rise to stand. If that feels like too much for you, you can roll up. Inhale, rise up, palms touch. Exhale, heart. Inhale, rise, clasp your wrist. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp, and up and over. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Remember, find that flow of breath and body. Step back, down dog. Once you get to down dog, nice deep breath in. <sighs> Let it go. And now you're going to come back onto your knees, on top of the toes. Use that strength of your core here. So your hips should be in front of your knees. Take a nice deep breath in. So untuck your toes, angel. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. See how your wrists are? Yeah, there you go. And then lower. Lower down. Yeah. Inhale, reach out and up, BB Cobra. To come into full Cobra, you push into your hands. Pelvis stays rooted, though. Nice deep breaths here. And then slowly lower. Find your way back, downward facing dog. Nice deep breath in. And let it all go. From here, walk the feet to meet the hands forward, fold. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. And then inhale, you can rise up either of the two ways or reach the arms all the way up as you stand. And then exhale, wherever you're at, our hands come to our heart. Inhale, rise up, clasp a wrist. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, rise up, reverse the clasp, up and over. Inhale, rise. Exhale, fold forward. One more of those. Inhale, straight spine. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, step on back. Take a nice deep breath in. And let it go. And now you can lower to knees or you can come right to a full plank. So with full plank, you want to squeeze your shoulder blades together. You want to feel long and strong in your body. If you're in knee plank, begin to lower down onto your mat. Full plank, roll forward on your toes and lower, chaturanga. Inhale, find either of those two back bends that serve you, baby cobra or cobra, or rise up to up dog. Your hips lift off the mat, toenails push down. And then reach up and over. Find your way back, downward dog. Take a nice deep breath in. Let it go. And now walk the feet to meet the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. And exhale, fold. And now inhale, coming all the way up. And exhale, heart center. Inhale, rise, clasp your wrist. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp, and exhale, up and over. Inhale, rise, and now exhale, fold yourself forward. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward, and exhale, fold. Bend the knees, plant the hands, step yourself back, downward facing dog. Take a nice deep breath in, and then ah, let it all go. And find your way through whatever flow served you, whether it was knee plank, plank, 
We're gonna all meet back in downward facing dog. So taking your time to get there, we're gonna meet back in down dog. Nice deep breaths. Take one deep inhale in and let it go. All right, now you're gonna keep the weight on your left foot, lift your right leg and then bend the knee and then open your hip. We're stretching the right side of our body. You wanna pull the right shoulder down to support that. You can even roll your ankle a couple times. Just find some release in that hip, that right side of the body and then lower down. Nice deep breath in and let it go. And then left leg lifts, lifts up and same thing here. Just roll the ankle a little bit, both directions. Open up that side of the body. And then lower it down. And now inhale, lift the right leg. And then exhale, you're gonna bring it through in between your hands. So you can use the right hand to help it get there. Back heel spins down and we find our way to warrior one. So we have heel, heel alignment. You know, arms can be risen. You can have cactus arms or heart center, whatever supports your shoulders. As you look down, you should still be able to see your big toe. Root the feet, feel grounded in the body. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. One more. And then exhale, hands are gonna come behind you. You're gonna clasp your hands together in a fist. Now, for some of you, this might be where you stay, just opening your chest. It's a great position. When you're here, you wanna zip up, lower core to support your low back. Now, for others, if you're a little more advanced, you can begin to lower. Listen to your body, see where it's at today. You can lower all the way to the inside of the thigh, or you can even rest your chest on your front leg a little bit and relax your head and neck for a little more support. Let the head and neck fully relax wherever you're at. Let the shoulders relax. Activate your lower core, your mula bandha. The mula bandha is right in your perineum. So imagine you're holding in your pee, ladies. That'll help with balance and support and strength. And then use that support of the mula bandha and the feet. Come now back up. And then plant the hands, step back, downward dog. Take a nice deep breath in. Let it go. Inhale, left leg. And as you exhale, it comes forward. Again, find the support of the floor. Move your pose from the ground up. Warrior one. Nice deep breaths here. Connect that breath with body again. All right, one more deep breath together. And then exhale, lower, do the opposite class. So it's probably gonna feel like the awkward one. Now again, you can just stay here, holding and opening up shoulders. Remember, zip up lower core, take a deep breath in, and on the exhale, you can either come right to chest, to leg, or right to the inside and fully stretch forward. Again, listen to your shoulders, activate that mula bandha, your lower core, feel your feet grip. Wherever you're at is great for you. Let's take deep breaths together. Squeezing out all that tension in our shoulders. And then activate that core, mula bandha, feet rise up. And step those hands and then step those feet back. Downward dog, nice deep breath in. And let it go. Feet meet the hands, forward fold. Inhale, straight spine, gaze forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rising all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, arms rise, clasp the wrist. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, rise, reverse your clasp and up and over. Inhale, rise. And now exhale, hands to hips. Sit back, chair pose. You want to zip up. Activate that mudra bandha. We're gonna do some lion's breath now. We're gonna imagine like all that tension, emotional tension that's stuck in our body. It's gonna accumulate right through our lower chakra, our root, 
all the way up through all our chakras and we're going to use our throat chakra to release it all. So to do this, you're going to bring your hands in front of you and squeeze your fists. So these are our lower chakras from our throat chakra down. These are more of our human based chakras. This is where we always get stuck in life. We always try and make things perfect, our shoulds. People irritated us, they should have done better. This should be better, the life we wish we had. Anything that's coming up, we're gonna pull it all up, we're gonna let it go. We're gonna imagine it's being released right into the earth and the earth gets to recycle it like compost so that this moon and this earth can recycle that all into light and love. We wanna zip up, we wanna feel active here. And now together, we're going to do these for each chakra that we're releasing. So first is going to be our root chakra, chakra of survival, groundedness. The second will be our sacral chakra, which is pleasure. The third will be our solar plexus, which is sense of self. Then our heart and our throat is our expression. So deep inhale first, releasing anything stuck in our root chakra. Tense it all up and exhale, let it go. Tongue flies open. Inhale, squeeze up. This is now our sacral chakra. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale, solar plexus, self-identity. Self Let it go. <sighs> Inhale, heart. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale, throat. Let it go. <sighs> and coming on up. Closing the eyes. You can stomp the feet and the heels into the ground if you need a little stability. Just feel yourself grounded and rooted. All right, we're gonna do that one more time. So inhale, arms rise as eyes open. Exhale, hands to hips, sit back chair. Now with the hands here, you wanna feel this activation so your knees are supported during the lion's breath. And then bring the arms up. All right, inhale, sacral chakra, for, or sorry, root chakra. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, sacral, let it go. Inhale, solar, release. Inhale, heart, let it go. Inhale, throat, let it go. And then coming on back up. Close the eyes, you can stomp the heels if you need to. And now to release the other ones, we're gonna find our way into a moon flow here. So inhale, arms rise, eyes open. And then exhale, hands to hips. And you're gonna step wide on your mat. And I would step to wherever the nice view is. So go wide on the mat. Yeah. Great. And then you're gonna bring heels in, toes out. And you're gonna to start to squat. And you're gonna goddess bounce. So as you goddess bounce here, I want you to zip up. Feel all these chakras now activated and released. So we have two more to release and let go of. We have our intuitive chakra, our intuition, which is in between our eyebrows, and our crown, which is connected to divine energy. So these are much more in the ethereal realm, the divine realm. So that's why we're now into the moon cycle of our yoga flow. We're going the width of our mat. This is the feminine energy of yoga. Before we were in the masculine energy of yoga, in our sun salutes, the giving energy. Now we're in receiving energy. These two chakras are about really being open and trusting. So we're gonna do a little moon flow and then release these two as well. So now bringing that bounce to a close. On an inhale, straighten the legs. You're gonna take the right toes straight. You're gonna take the left heel out and you're gonna bend the knee, warrior two. Now again, just like warrior one, you should be able to see the big toe if you look down. Arms go the length of your mat. Inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse. Inhale, rise, and exhale, side angle. So that forearm can go on the thigh. The arm can come up, it can even come over, or if that bothers your shoulder, hand can stay on hip. Again, activate your lower core. And then inhale, I want you to go right back to reverse warrior. And exhale, coming back forward. And inhale back. Exhale. One more like that. And exhale. Inhale, coming up. 
warrior two, now straighten both legs. Now a little quick yogi trick, if you wanna bring your left hand to your hip, you can. Inhale, stretch the right forward. Exhale, lower until this hip starts to wanna to go down and roll down. That's where you wanna stop. Now you can stay here. This will give you a really juicy low back stretch. You can bring that arm up. You can look up if that supports your neck, but I say look wherever your neck feels good. Nice deep breaths here in triangle. And then grip your feet, inhale, rise to stand. Arms are gonna come nice and wide and you're just gonna transition your warrior two to the other side. Again, work your pose from the ground up. Here we go, inhale, flip the front palm. Exhale, reverse that warrior. So other way, yeah, perfect. Inhale, rise up and exhale, side angle. And again, we're gonna find our flow, working at your pace. Inhale, reverse. And exhale, side angle. Inhale, back. And exhale. We'll do one more. And exhale. Inhale, rise up. Straighten both legs. Again, if you like a yogi trick from hand to hip, do that. Stretch the left. And then come all the way down. Make sure that hip stays open. Hand can stay on hip. You can rise the arm. Triangle. Nice deep breaths. And you'll just take your hand. You see how your wrist is like this? Just, yeah, there you go. <sighs> Grip your feet. Inhale, rise up. Bring hands wide. Now we're coming wide on our mat. We're gonna release our shoulders again here. So you're going to bring your hands behind you. You're gonna clasp them again. You're gonna inhale, puff your chest, and exhale, hinge. Now this way, when you hinge, you gotta grip your feet. You gotta use your core. Let's see how far your body will go. We're gonna take three side breaths here. Now as we're sighing, I want you to imagine you're bringing out tension in your shoulders, your jaw, and it's releasing your intuitive and your crown chakra. So we're gonna do four of these. Inhale, this is for your shoulders. Let it go. <sighs> Inhale for your jaw and face. <sighs> Inhale for your intuitive chakra. <sighs> One more crown chakra. Inhale. <sighs> And then slowly grip your feet, use your core. Rise, rise, slowly, 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 slow. And then release these hands. Shake the shoulders out a little. Hands are gonna come to hips. You're gonna heel toe in a little and then you're gonna take your right toes to face whatever direction you're on in your mat. And then your left toes are gonna face too. So you gotta bring your feet a little closer. You're gonna grab opposite elbows. You wanna really grip up your lower core. So if you wanna come and face me, ladies, you can, so you can see, yeah. <laughs> and then take a deep breath, feel long, and then exhale, start to hinge. You'll find that place where you wanna jut your chin. This is where you wanna grip in, feel the strength of your neck, it can support you. Take some nice deep breaths here. Feel a stretch in the legs. One more, nice deep breath in, deep breath out, and then slowly release the hands. Now you can bend the knee if you need to, you can bring your hands down, but we're gonna go into a standing split. So you root your right toe, right foot, and then you can bring your left leg up. Now, you can open hip or keep it closed and flex foot, whatever feels better for your body. You just wanna make sure shoulders stay square, and then let your head and neck relax. Now this might be where you stay. If you want to play with some balancing today, you bring your right hand to your right calf. And see if your left, whoop, your left can get there. Just making this a little playful. Find a focal point to stay looking at. Remember, we just relaxed our jaw. We let it go, so release the tension there. And 
and then slowly, if your hands are out, plant both hands. Little bend in the knee to plant that foot back down. And then you're gonna slowly take that foot back. You're gonna lower the left knee down. You're gonna untuck the toe. And just give that left thigh a nice stretch. Now this might be where you wanna stay. You can take left hand to thigh and then right and come on up. Just listen to the body here. For a balance, you can even hook thumbs and rise. Listen to your body and breathe. And then plant those hands back down. And then you're gonna begin to walk back. We're gonna stretch our left leg now, or right leg, sorry. So you're gonna flex that foot, plant your hands. Nice deep breaths. So the more you can internally, almost imagine internally, like your hips are like, ge uh, like gears. You wanna feel your right hip pull back a little. As you feel the right hip pull back, you're gonna to start to feel a little more of a stretch in your right leg. slowly slowly move out of this hands are gonna plant feet are gonna plant you're gonna extend that back leg and then from here you're going to step your left foot forward you're back to a mountain pose let your head and neck relax all right so from here we're gonna take our left hand to the midline you're gonna bend your left knee keep the right leg straight you're gonna bring your right hand to your hip you're gonna look on up now. Feel that deep stretch in your right leg. This is getting your IT band, a little bit of your glute. You can stay here, you can even wrap that arm around like you did in the beginning of class and thread the needle. You can even rise that arm up. Just take some nice deep breaths here. We also tend to hold stress and stuff in our hips. So we're gonna take some deep breaths to release all of this and let it go. slowly slowly come out of that pose hands plant and now from here I want you to round up each vertebra and back to stand and you're gonna step the right foot back and again we're going short back we want our hips like headlights of a car still now if you could remember it's probably whatever is the normal way you do it do the opposite Again, zip up. We want long, strong bodies here. And then exhale, begin to hinge. Up and over, up and over, up and over. Use your core strength here, not your face strength, your neck strength. Feel the core, support the body. Press both feet down into the mat. Looks good. One more. And then rising on up. Release those hands, and then begin to launch into standing split. Remember, shoulders stay square here. If you want to balance a little, left hand grabs, left leg, back of left leg, and then see if the right. Just again, playing here, find your focal point, use your core. You can still use that mula bandha. And then one more deep breath in. And then exhale, a little bend in the front knee to step your right foot back. And then coming on down. Nice deep breaths into this right hip now. Again, you can stay here, left, and then right can come up. And you can even balance, just listening to the body. down and now we're walking back so as you walk back just listen to that left leg <coughs> and just imagine you're moving inward inside of the body feel like your hips are like gears and just shift that left hip gear a little back see if that affects the stretch you're getting And 
slowly, slowly. Come on, that pose. All right, you're gonna plant those hands. You're gonna extend that leg. You're gonna come forward, forward fold. Let the head and neck relax. And now right hand to the midline, bend the right knee, keep this left leg completely straight, and then hand comes to hip, look up. Get that left IT band, that left hip. Let's go to the other side, of course. So keep the right knee bent all the way and keep that right hand to the floor. Yeah, there you go. Breathe into that left hip, left IT band. Left glute. And then slowly, slowly unravel. And then come back to center and just shake your head out. Yes. And no. Plant those hands, step those feet back, downward dog. Take a nice deep breath in. <sighs> Let it all go. As you lower the feet now or the knees now, untuck the toes, seat to feet. Child pose. And now just release and let go. Let those shoulders relax. Let those arms relax. Let your head and neck relax. Now, just a few more of those sigh breaths to relax and release any of our upper chakras. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in, and when we sigh out, as I um, instruct you, imagine that third eye that your forehead's resting down on now is releasing. Third eye is our intuition. Anything that's getting you stuck there, we're gonna let go of. And then our crown chakra is above our head, which is any connection to divine energy, whatever you believe in. So take a nice deep breath in. And sigh out for the intuition. <sighs> nice deep breath in. And crown. <sighs> nice deep breath in. And physical body, release. <sighs> deep breath in, emotional body. <sighs> deep breath in, any connection to relationships you want to let go of. Ah, deep breath in, and then everything and all. Ah, and then slowly roll to either hip. Find your way to a seated pose. Legs are gonna be nice and wide. You're gonna feel yourself rooted on your sits bones. We're gonna take our left hand here to our left leg. It can be on top, more intense is inside. And if you need to support, I like to support from the outside. So whatever feels good for you, right hand to hip, look up and then begin to hinge forward. Now you can reach up and over with that arm, only if that feels okay for your shoulders. Keep your feet flexed, take some nice deep breaths here. palm up, Angel. See how my palm's up? Yeah, it changes your shoulder. Does that feel okay? Yeah, that's good. Right. And then reach up as you breathe in. And exhale. Go right over to the other side. Oh, there's always one side different. Nice deep breaths here. and then reach up and lower that hand. And now we're gonna walk. You're gonna walk your hands forward until these babies start to roll forward, your toes. That's your stopping point. And what I love to do is once I know where my stopping point is, I go one step further and then I push into my hands. It'll push you right back up onto your sits bones and then relax your shoulders. There we go. So I want you to take deep breaths and as you exhale out, I want you to exhale like you're fogging up a mirror. We're just gonna release any tension we're feeling stored in our hips, our groin. Just 
is also just our, our own feminine energy is here. The energy of receiving. Just gonna let it all go, anything that needs to be shed and released here. As women, we can hold guilt and shame in these parts of our bodies. So we're just gonna let it go at whatever pace or intensity feels good for you. So on your own pace and breath, You'll exhale out just with that ha breath silently, like you're fogging a mirror. And as you're exhaling out, I want you to imagine like we did the, with the lion's breath. You're releasing that breath into the floor, all that energy into the floor. After your next ha breath, you're gonna walk your feet back. You're gonna bring your legs in, and you're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. You're gonna start to just bounce your legs in butterfly. And coming into stillness, you're gonna grab onto your ankles, inhale, puff your chest, open up. And then exhale, squeeze everything in. We're doing cat cow now, just a little differently. Inhale, puff up. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale. Exhale. One more. And exhale. Bring the hands to both sides of your legs. Bring them up. You're going to take that left leg out. You're going to bring this right foot about a a fist width away from your left. Bring your right hand behind you. Inhale, left rises, and exhale, hug that leg. Keep that foot flexed, squeezing everything. And then slowly coming out. Now you're gonna open up this leg. You're gonna bring your right hand about at an angle from that hip to plant it. Now, if you wanna watch me slowly go up, I'm going up onto my knee, my foot slowly comes down, and then I open the left arm so it can go straight up, or you can even open your chest and have a little slight back bend. All right, we're gonna take those ha breaths here. Anything on the front side of our body, on the left side, is our giving side that needs to be shed and released, let it go. Feel it all go. Slowly, slowly come on down. And then bring both feet out just so you can feel your sits bones rooted. And bring your left leg in. Fist width again. Left hand behind you to support. Reach that right and give yourself a hug. And again, some nice deep breaths here. Travel. Open up that hip. Then we have that angle and reach up. You come up onto your knee, then onto your foot. That right arm rises. It can come straight up or you can open up your chest. Now we're on the right side of our body. This is our receiving side of our body. So some ha breaths, letting any energy that's still stuck in there go. out, reroute, and then bend the knees in, feet flat, and you're going to begin to lower all the way down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest, and we're just going to rock a little from side to side. And then what you're going to start to do is you're going to take your knees to the left, down, and up to the right. You're going to circle right on your sacrum. Now, now you can hug the knees in, or you can either grab right knee with right hand, left knee with left hand. You can even widen your legs a little if you want to get the hips into it. But we're circling around on our sacrum from left to right, so we're clockwise direction. As you do this, let your head and neck relax. 
imagine your cranium, which is your head, is responding to the movement of your sacrum. Having a cranial sacral connection. These two parts of your body speak to each other through your cerebral spinal fluid. When one is tight, the other responds. So let's just imagine as you're massaging out that sacrum, any tension all the way up your back into your cranium is letting go. Now we're moving in circles towards the right. So imagine anything on the right side of your body as you're circling. You can even do the ha breath, you can even sigh out, or breathe normally. Feel free to close your eyes. I want you to feel your body just start to naturally move a little more. As you're circling, maybe your neck starts to move a little. Your shoulders are moving. Let the body fully respond to the movement, almost like the water responds to a pebble when it's thrown in to the water. Then we're going to slow these circles up until they come to stillness with the knees right into the chest. Take a deep breath in. And then you're going to start to take the knees to the right and now go to the left. We're circling counterclockwise. So now our intention is the left side of our body. Releasing anything that needs to be released on the left side of our body. And as you circle, whatever speed feels good for you. You can even take your feet apart and let your feet be free. Keep your feet together, whatever feels good for your body. And cranium and sacrum just connecting and interacting with each other as they both just relax and let go. Your jaw might start to soften. more moments. And slowly bring those circles to a close. Knees hug in again. And then allow your feet to come all the way up to the sky. Now you can hold on to your legs here or you can bring one fist under each tush and it should tilt your pelvis enough. We want our feet to suspend in the air. Just any stagnant blood in our lower body, we want it to release now. We're gonna bring in the let go breath to release anything that's still feeling stuck in the body before we find our way into our full moon, relaxing Shavasana relaxation. So as you breathe in, imagine the word let. As you breathe out, imagine the word go. Letting go of anything, physically, mentally, emotionally, energetically, doesn't serve you. So that in a moment when we rest down, you will be open to receive what does. In your mind's eye, let you be in silence for a moment with the let go breath. Feel the blood relaxing and letting go in the lower limbs of the body. Inhale, let. Exhale, go. Slowly bring that to a close. You begin to lower the legs. 
If there's any other postures you want to do before you find your way to Shavasana, just honor your body. And then once ready, you'll find your way into Shavasana. Relaxation pose. You can get comfy, put something under your knees, cover up with anything. Bringing your palms facing up, if at all possible. You're going to relax the face, relax the jaw. Just completely surrender into the present moment. I'm going to guide us now into just a full blue moon clearing. I'm going to read our intention card again that we chose here collectively. I want you to allow whatever's meant for you in this card to be released in this visualization. I affirm that I am totally willing to freely forgive everyone. I release from within me all bitterness and resentment. I let go of old hurts and forgive everyone, including myself. This moon is about moving beyond limitations of regret, guilt, shame, and resentments. As we go through this visualization, I encourage you to let go of attachments that you have to shoulds in your life. The coulda, woulda, shouldas. The shoulds you have about your body, your health. The shoulds you have about your relationships, your work. And in alignment with this card of forgiving, to be at peace, you need to let go of the control of being right. So I'm going to encourage you as you go through this visualization to release any attachment you have to being right. We only need to be loved, not to be right. When we do this, we can then connect to the dreams of what can be. When we let go of shoulds and the need to be right, we can trust, which is the theme of the next month we're moving into November. These blue moons happen only once in a blue moon. It's a special energy There's been a lot that has come to the surface this year. Astrologically, society-wise, worldwide, personal. It's time to dream and trust. So you're going to imagine now whatever color you correlate with cleansing and clearing. And I want you to imagine that color now. It's almost like this, imagine it's like this warm coating. It'll begin to coat your body. Some of my clients correlate it with being wrapped up in a warm blanket out of the dryer, the warm shower water falling over your head. 
or the feeling of the warm sun on your body. Whatever color you feel could coat you, that connects you to cleansing. I want you to imagine that color, whatever its textures are, it's now at the top of your head. And the shoulds and the being rights, the resentments and the shame, get to be cleared with this color. As you imagine it now coating your head, your face, it starts to come down and coat your skull and your brain. It's coated your crown chakra, your intuitive chakra, as it comes and coats your face and your jaw your neck and throat coats your throat chakra. This color now guides down into your shoulders, and down your arms. This cleansing color coats your elbows, forearms and wrists, each hand and each finger. Now this color comes and coats the front of your chest, your lungs, your heart, your heart chakra. Coats down your ribs, your lungs. Coats down your belly and your organs and your solar plexus chakra reaches your pelvis and feel this color coating the back of your shoulders, the back of the body in between your shoulder blades, your thoracic spine, the back of your ribs and into your low back, your organs, your low back muscles, your lumbar spine are coated reaches your hip bones and now feel it coating right under each armpit down the sides of your ribs your lat muscles the side rib cage down down to your hip bone now imagine this color coating your pelvic bone all the way wrapping around to your sacral bone your sacral chakra as it coats your glutes and it swirls around coating the front of your legs, the sides and the back. As it swirls around coating your knees, coating down your calves, your ankles and feet and each toe. I want you now to feel completely cleansed and cleared with this color. And in your mind's eye, I want you to imagine you're seeing yourself right here in this present moment. Fully cleared, relaxed. And now allowing that color to fizzle away in your consciousness, begin to bring a color that you connect to that could be about your dreams of what can be in your life, trusting you. Whatever color comes to mind, trust that's the right one. And again, check into the texture of this color. What does it feel like? Some of my clients have said when they do this exercise, it feels like they're putting on that piece of clothing that makes them feel confident and comfortable. Some of them say it feels like the breeze flowing through their hair. Or the biggest wonderful laugh. 
I want you to connect to this color now. And imagining now like you pour water into a pitcher and it fills the glass from the bottom up. We're now gonna fill up from the bottom up with this color. So imagine now this color is coating your toes and your feet. Feel yourself being filled, almost like your favorite beverage is being poured for you as this color fills up your calves and your knees. Fills up your thighs. Fills up your sacrum and your pelvic bone. It fills up your sacral chakra as you feel it filling up the sides of your body all the way up the side ribs. It fills up your lower back, all the way lumbar spine up to mid back, thoracic spine filled, all the way up to the tops of your shoulders. And then it fills up from your pelvic bone up your belly and your organs. Your sacral chakra fills and moves up to your lungs. Your solar plexus chakra fills up into your heart. Heart chakra fills until your entire torso is filled with this energy, this light, as you feel it swirl around your shoulders. And now it fills up from your fingertips, up your hands. It fills up your arms, your elbows, until it connects to the color swirling in your shoulders. Now it fills up your neck and your throat, your throat chakra fill, your cervical spine fills. It fills up in your cranium, your jaw, your face, your skull. Fills up the front of your body into your forehead and your intuitive chakra fills. So your entire skull, brain and hair, your eyes and ears are all filled with this color as it fills your divine chakra. Now in this space, for just a moment, we'll be in silence, feeling truly fulfilled will guide us out in a moment to come back to close class. Deepen the breath. Start to wiggle fingers and toes. Roll wrists and ankles. On an inhale, stretch those arms up above the head. Give yourself a nice long stretch. And then exhale, hug the knees into your chest as you gently begin to rock from side to side until you eventually roll to either side in a fetal pose. And once in fetal pose, I want you to just feel the safety and the support of the ground and the earth below you. Mother nature, the earth are always there to support you. 
connection to the sun, the moon, the, the stars, the sky is there to let you dream. So as you push up slowly, push yourself up into that dreaming quality and state. Your eyes closed back to easy seated pose, hands to heart center as we close out our class together. Coming back to the intention you set, taking that with you throughout the rest of your day. And I thank you all for practicing with me. The goodness in me honors the goodness in you. And may each and every one of you be happy, healthy, and live with ease, which is namaste. Slowly, slowly coming out. I want you to move nice and slow as we find our way out of class. I brought some beverages and a few things, oils and stuff to play with. So take your time. You can roll your mat up. Um, and we will be joining together in a moment. Thanks, everyone. Thanks everyone for joining us. Happy blue moon. Um, we're still in the energy of it. If you have any questions for me, please feel free uh, to reach out. Um, I would love to support any of you. Uh, check out some of my local events coming up on my website. I would love for you to join in, um, as well as my Reclaim Your Unapologetic Self program is still running. If you have questions about that and want to reclaim with us, feel free to just comment below with reclaim. Happy Halloween, happy full moon. Be well, everyone.